Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the PwC Muscle Podcast on a uh, May 24th. It's been about three weeks since our last one, and uh, and definitely excited to, to get this one going, mostly because of uh, it's, a, it's a change of pace from from working hard, and, and I'm going to hit the sore subject for us quickly and watching the, the Lightning lose and get knocked out of the playoffs there, so looking forward to having some, some fun today instead. Yeah, it's hard to win when you don't score any goals. That was rough. <laughs> yeah, at, um, we'll, we'll get to, uh, more to it a little bit later um, in the podcast, just because uh, it's hard not to not to talk about something like that. Um, but I think the first thing that we should probably get to is a little bit of updates on uh, how things are going in the world of PwC racing. Um, see, since our our last um, podcast. Um, Pro Watercross Tour has uh, had their uh, two of their races, one in, um, let's see, the Panama City one and the Pensacola um, races. And uh, not, not as many people, it, it seemed like, were in um, Pensacola, but um, that was the, the second round. And, man, uh, the Aswars are, are doing well again and getting uh, – First and third, and and the one in Pensacola, and before that, let's see, I have that one pulled up here as well. Um, first and second for them. Uh, always fun to to watch those guys race. Eric Francis getting getting third in the uh, Panama City Panama City race, and oh, it looks like there's a pretty pretty good showing that um, you know this this series is getting you know, doing really well. Yeah, getting underway for the season. It kind of seems like it starts slow every year, but uh, a lot more people will be paying attention more as as it pr- time progresses here in the next couple months. Got some big uh, events coming up, so yeah, and we'll try to keep you guys posted on what's going on at, as it happens. Yeah, the uh, for P One Aqua X they had their um, their like amateur race, which is in uh, Saint Cloud, and. Um, the next the next big one is actually going to be here it's the um like the St. Pete one St. Pete yeah yep, the St. the St. Pete race which uh we, we mentioned on the on the last podcast that's going to be July uh, I'm sorry June 16th and 17th and somewhere that we definitely uh are going to you know be there or at least uh, a couple of us will will be giving away some shirts and and getting some video and and pictures of um yeah if you see us come up to us yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, going back to the uh, the pro watercross tour, that's um, I mean that's that's one that we've only been to a handful of their events. We were following some of the other ones, uh, going to to more of the other uh, some of the other circuits. But this one's this one's uh, looking to get pretty hot quick here. It's uh, yeah, from from everything that I've seen, it seems like it's pretty well organized. Yeah, which is which is a huge thing with these events. Um, but that's great. Yeah, so this this um, th- see the next race that they have is see it's all the way in it's not for a while um, round three is going to be in the end of July and that's in Wisconsin for for pro watercross and then the one event that we uh, tend to go to every year is the World Championship down in Naples uh, which is in in November but if you haven't checked out pro watercross uh, go to pro watercross.com they've got lots of uh video and um media there to to get you interested and if you're in those areas definitely come out or go out and, and check out those races and support the local racing scene yeah they do a good job of getting around the country too um looking at the where their events are at they're all over the place so no matter where you're at you have a chance to go to one of these at least once a year so check check it out like joe said pro watercross.com support uh the industry racers so that's important too getting out there even if you're not going to race yeah um uh, always fun to go out and at least party with some of the some of the guys out out at them uh switching gears a little bit uh we have a a third member on our on our podcast this time our uh uh, trusty worker daryl for pwc muscle thanks for uh for being here today with us i appreciate you letting me out of the cage um (laughs) It's nice to uh, have a little reprieve from the from the daily grind that is the shop. Uh, yeah, it's um, especially this time of year where um, everybody wants a rush order. Right. Everyone wants their superchargers yeah. rebuilt in time for Memorial Weekend. 
Um, I'd One say of the biggest weekends of the of the season for us and for yeah. everyone on the water. It's important to stay for out sure. there. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been some long days and nights. <laughs> longer nights yeah. um, here recently, but uh, I think we're we're on track and uh, we shouldn't have any issues uh, getting everything. Oh, definitely. Everything done and keeping everybody out on the water. Um, yeah, thank you for all the, the hard hours and work you've put in with that. I mean, it's – I have a, I posted a picture on, on my personal Instagram. It's it's just a sample, I mean, just because it sometimes gets a little bit overwhelming of just empty boxes from people that have sent in their superchargers, and it just – the pile gets massive quick. It's, it's like a week, and yeah. it's uh, – <laughs> you know, when you're doing 10, 15 a day, uh, it definitely – Long it days, up. yeah, definitely yeah. long days. What uh, talking about that a little bit? Um, we always recommend the same sort of thing when someone's sending in their supercharger. Uh, you can use a flat rate box from the post office. It, that's a little bit undersized, but it'll save you some money. Um, but definitely, just you know, put some nice padding in there. Yeah. And, and we haven't really had any trouble uh, with them. No. So, it gets to us fastest too. Oh, UPS, yeah, to UPS us. and FedEx they seem to they seem to deliver later in the day. So yeah, it gives yeah. us a whole day ahead on that. So yeah, U, USPS if you're able to. Well, we inevitably get superchargers that come in that are just really really <laughs> poorly packaged or poorly have been poorly handled. So putting in something some sort of padding is real. You know, it's important because uh, uh, the guys that are working for UPS, FedEx, USPS. I mean, they're trying to push packages, so they'll you know pick yours up and toss it into the next bin. And if you don't have any padding, you're basically throwing your supercharger right. around. Yeah. So uh, some interesting, interesting ones came in came in this week. I'll, I'll start with one that I saw that it was two superchargers in a box, and that was it. That was yeah. it. I mean, it just allowing them to bash into each other the whole the whole time. Um, <laughs> but what was that? What was that nice find that you? Oh, you... the the uh, the styrofoam. Uh, the hit take in a can of expanded foam um it it works if you're gonna do it do it it works um but just take a take a trash bag put it in the box spray the foam take your supercharger wrapped in another bag push it in the foam spray the foam on the top cover it box it it'll, it'll be good um but unfortunately they didn't do that with this one they uh they kind of sprayed the foam in they wrapped the supercharger but the foam sticks to the box um so it's it's 20 minutes of prying and ripping uh to get it open and Luckily, we're not charging them shop rate for, right, for just getting yeah. it out of the box. But that's, yeah. uh, uh, that's, I mean, that's a lot heavier, too. To, it, to is. For, it is. It was... For anyone that orders from us, if you're going to order again in the future, just say we, we have a special foam that we put in with these superchargers when we send them back to you. Just save the foam. Put it somewhere in your garage. Put it in your attic. Yeah. Save yeah. it. We have so many customers that do that with their second one. Yeah, so um, we, we do. We use um, custom I'll, I'll bring one on for the for the next um, yeah. next podcast. But it's a custom-formed foam, so it's... It's specific to protect your supercharger. It's a one uh, foot cube box that we yeah. put it in. Yeah, we had it made particularly for this. So yeah. So the uh, uh, so there's two other interesting ones that I wanted to touch on that came in. One, the guy built his own wooden box. Oh yeah, that one. That yeah. one was cool. That was that was different. Um, yeah, he sent us his supercharger in a wooden box in a and requested, cardboard box yeah and we re and requested that i mean it, it protected it well it did. requested that it, we send the box back and it was just a little bit undersized for our foam so we had to do some custom cutting to make our foam fit inside his box yeah but it was actually it was pretty cool when that's, it was yeah. done and if, and went out so if you guys want to do that that's fine we we can we can cater to that <clears throat> the, it doesn't beat my favorite though my favorite we'll package come you, material we'll come, we'll come we'll come to your favorite i know where you're going with that <laughs> because there was one that was similar um that came in this week and that was somebody used a it was like child size uh yeah a child yeah. sized uh personal flotation device <laughs> they, they they put a life jacket they in did it. they wrapped it in a life jacket <laughs> and sent and sent that and uh <clears throat> damn i didn't get good. the i didn't get the picture of I, you trying it on i'm yeah i'll, I'll have we'll have to make that happen because yeah. that was one you know uh some packaging that um that you could wear <laughs> which brings us to your favorite one yeah, somebody packed uh, with one of those huge foam fingers, but that wasn't the best part of it. They they put the supercharger in a Yosemite Sam hat, like a huge, oversized, like huge over that's Yosemite. The, that's I the mean, hat that's at the shop. It's still at the shop. There, we, yeah, yeah. That we we decided to keep that one. That was awesome. That um, that was probably our favorite packing material. That always reminds me of the Celebrity Jeopardy. That was uh, oh, yeah. Burt Reynolds being played by uh, Turd Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's an oversized hat. That's, it's funny. 
That's what uh, Daryl wears sometimes when he yeah. wears. He wears that hat time to time. Uh, <laughs> don't be surprised if you if you stop by the shop and it's it's on my head. Yeah, your dunce's cap. It's, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, so yeah, it's been a it's, it's it's been a busy couple of weeks keeping uh, keeping us keeping us busy and keeping the superchargers yeah. moving out. But uh, everything's yeah, been, been great, been going smoothly, which is uh, always ideal. And it's funny when it comes to these things. Uh, I brought it up before that there's a real cyclical nature when it comes to these superchargers, and that um, at the beginning part of the season we get normal rebuilds, people that are doing their preventative maintenance. And the failure rate um, are, you know, it's, it's relatively low. Um, and then you get at the end of the season, you have people that are, are doing their preventive maintenance. Failure rate's pretty low. I'd say like, what, one in 10 Maybe, come yeah. in and, and have a, a, a bearing failure or some <clears> other. <throat> in the middle of summer, these are the people that are sending their superchargers in and haven't, they're sending it in because they blew it up. So I'd say, you know, whew, one in one in four easy yeah one easy. in four have uh, some sort of failure some of them catastrophic uh destroying wheels so I, you you showed I, me the, the the one that you you had um the other day that it was uh the wheel was half there only, yeah only yeah, I was, yeah i was wheel. actually looking to see if i had a, a picture of that a one. picture of that one um yeah it was it was interesting i don't know it it looks like at some point he had ingested a bolt something and it got yeah caught and broken uh, in half yeah, when it just caught just the right spot that it sheared, basically twenty five percent of the wheel uh, gone. was gone. gone. So yeah. unfortunately, he's going to have to go through the intercooler uh, to ensure that it hasn't made yeah. it past it. Um, but yeah, we yeah, see. Yeah, if he kept running, he probably ingested it, and and who knows what uh, sort of damage that ended up doing. But as long as you're, I mean, with the exception of ingesting something like that, as long as you. Uh, do your preventative maintenance. They're they're, they're reliable. Yeah, get, yeah definitely yeah. get ahead of it. These machines will go for a long time. These engines will run for a long time as long as you stay ahead of everything you need to do, maintenance, oil changes. Uh, be on top of it. It's important. So shifting gears, uh, something I saw when uh, just looking up the the new racing uh, or the the next races from ProRotocross.com. They had a an article up here talking about. Um, I mean, it's 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 hard to to miss it. It's a picture of Bruce Willis and uh, a guy that, um, well, just to, here, I'll, I'll pull up the article. Um, I guess there's a, a, an ex racer that now is going to be, uh, he wrote a screenplay and it's, it's based around racing skis and, and for the Miami P1, um, race, he did some, uh, they did some filming there and it's, it's, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to destroy this last name. Rippin, Larry Rippin Kroger, um, that uh, wrote wrote a screenplay and is shooting. It's going to be called um, Hot Water, and it's going to be an action comedy centering around competitors of a fictional PWC Championship tour as they battle it out for the title. I just I have one request for whoever the director is. Uh, we need Chip from uh, from what's that? Uh, what am I thinking of here? Um, Talladega? Talladega Nights. Uh, can we can we get Chip on there as a as one of the racers? Oh, that would be. <laughs> that, yeah, that old man winner uh, on a on a ski. So that's. Uh, it, I mean, anytime that there's been skis in movies, it's been so comically bad, in, in my opinion, that it's you know why even put it in there, uh, <clears> except for <throat> except for maybe one of those scenes in Police Academy. Yeah. Where, they're, where they're all on all on stand-ups uh yeah so yeah, no, i remember that <laughs> i mean it'll be it's uh i guess you know i have watercraft journal pulled up here with um kevin shaw's article and saying that there's not yet a uh um an imdb listing for it yet but they're they're working and hopefully it'll be completed and distributed through cinemas and movie theaters by next spring if he's able to get it into movie theaters that would be outstanding I mean, even just a direct to digital or direct to DVD yeah. Blu ray release would be still just something kind of cool to pop in. Yeah. yeah. So, also in the media, um, and this, I, let me see if I have the video up for it now. Um, there's a video game, a new video game that's going to be coming up. And this I did see on Watercraft Journal. You yeah. heard, you heard I, about this I one? I saw that the other day. Um, yeah, it looks. It looks interesting. I'm actually pretty excited for it. I, I don't yeah. play video games anymore, but it, uh, I, I think I'm going to have to go out and get the game and, and get a console. 
What, what was the game that was on N64? Wasn't it like just and they had Wave a, Runner? They had a, yeah, I well, think. No, no, they had they had, they had the uh, video game in like the the movie theaters too, like the uh, arcade. Yeah, the the game. arcade, yeah. And yep. it was more than just it was Wave Race. It was called Wave, Wave Race, Race 64. Yeah. That game, I, I remember when I got that game for N64 back in the day. It was my favorite game for a month or whatever, <laughs> however long you played a game. Well, I do have the uh, video for it. Um, which you guys will be able to at least uh, see. Let's see, it's a minute long. Here's the here's the trailer. The graphics look pretty good, though. I, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I don't know, ten bucks. Hell, try it out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, ten bucks, you can't go wrong. I mean, if I'll, you figure, if you get, if you get one hour worth of entertainment, you know, ten bucks an hour. Exactly. That's, that's yeah. cheaper than going to a movie. Yep. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a, I'd give it a whirl. See, see what happens. Well, I like that they show in the in the trailer like dolphins jumping and. And other uh, that was a big thing in Wave Race too. Remember the dolphins <laughs> yeah. following you around? Yeah, and that's why I was wondering if that's uh, like an ode to, you know, to to that game. It says that it's available on PS4, Switch, Wii U, and PC uh, Steam uh, if you use the Steam platform. So I just pulled it up. Wave Race '64 was released in 1996. Wow! So it's been 22 years. It was released uh, in North America on November 1st. So it's almost 22 years ago. And this is this is what like the first game since. So it's the first one I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's been other ones, but uh, nothing on Xbox yeah. or one of the bigger platforms that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, we uh, uh, Kevin from uh, Watercraft Network, uh, the their internet radio podcast, just uh, said they're chiming in, saying hi for on ours. I think it was last week or maybe the the week before. I did a call in guest spot on on their podcast that was a that was an that, interesting show <laughs> that that was a fun show yeah. that uh thanks to to bobby cardone for for giving those guys some alcohol and drink, joining them with a few drinks it was it was a good show it was a shit show it was entertaining that's <laughs> I, as much fun as you can have right that's what it's about i was dying i was dying the whole the whole show <laughs> yeah so Definitely check those guys out. You can find them on uh, facebook.com slash watercraft network or all of their, um, their streaming for all of their podcasts is at mixlr.com slash watercraft hyphen network. And um, you know, they, do, they do a weekly podcast usually on, uh, on Wednesdays at 7 or 7.30. Yeah, yeah. And entertaining, great guys. Um, I mean, the more more con quality content that people put out there, the bigger this industry goes. So I'm exactly. really happy to see them. It's good for everybody. Doing well and and getting sponsors and, and having fun on a show like this. Yeah, yes. and I mean, if you if you haven't listened to them before, um, they have actually on their uh, website they have a whole show reel, so you can kind of go through the beginning uh, to where they are currently, and uh, it's it's interesting. I I gotta say, I like the idea. I like what they're doing there. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, having having pretty much a, a weekly guest or, or two coming in and, and big industry names. They're yeah. you know, it's something that we we haven't definitely haven't done on our show, and uh, you know, glad that they're filling that that gap because it's, it's a lot of work pulling in and getting yeah. stuff scheduled to to have. There's a lot of work live. getting this guy in here, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I had to pull a lot him of, away from the shop for a little say, bit. A, a lot of work on his on his part in order yeah. to yeah. get caught up enough to, to come in. I think he was work. What time did you work till last night? Uh, I was there till eleven thirty. Eleven thirty last 11:30 night. Eleven thirty and, and then eleven the night, the night before. before and, 
yeah. Yep. Up there doing superchargers until 11:30 at night. That's we thank you. Yeah. So if I mean, if you're getting tracking numbers at uh, <laughs> at nine, ten, eleven o'clock at night, uh, just know we're not uh, we're not crazy. We're just uh, trying to get everybody done and make yeah. sure everybody gets uh, gets to ride for the weekend. So yeah, absolutely. Trying to get everybody back on the water. Yeah. <clears throat> on another uh, another shout out. I need you to help me out. The WNY PWC. Yeah, the, the guys the, from WNY PWC. I, I see that uh, Cam was in the cast here earlier. I don't know if he's still here, but uh, oh, they got an event coming up uh, in July. Um, definitely check that out if you're in, in the New York mm-hmm. area or anywhere close. Um, the Niagara area up there, they got a big event. Uh, I think they said they're going to have upwards of 100 skis now, so it's going to be a, a big deal. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, w, WNY PWC, if you search that on it's Facebook, w, come up. WNY PWC owners. So yep. facebook.com slash yep. WNY PWC owners. Yep. And, and if you want to look up the, uh, the ride, I believe it's upper Niagara river ride. Yep. Uh, yep. on yes. Facebook as well. Yeah. So the yeah, 2018 can am ride, can am ride Saturday, yep. July 21st. Uh, it's one of the ones that, um, that we're, we're sponsoring and I know I know they're they're gearing up for it, and uh, it's. It, I mean, it looks like it's going to be an, an awesome time. I have to find an excuse to go up there and and uh, I would borrow love a to. ski just to <laughs> to jump in on that one. Yeah, it's coming up quick. We've been talking about it for a couple of months now, and it's hard to believe it's only it's two months away. It's, it's less than two months yeah. away now. It felt it felt like it was six months away. Well, I mean, but, the, uh, time's flying. Some some heat came in the middle of like april and it's just been bam 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 just no these uh yeah we could tell when the when it warmed up it's of course being in tampa it's been warm for months now but we can tell when the rest of the nation warmed up because all of a sudden things just uh kicked into another notch so yeah makes Um, time go fast for us though so i'd also be a little bit remiss if i didn't uh list watercraft networks uh event that they're having i'm trying to pull that up right now i think it's jet jam Jet Jam 2018, sponsored by sea They're oh. giving away a sea Spark. Look at this guy. He doesn't even have a, a computer in front of him for this <laughs> information. He just got the mind for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's huge. They got they have a an actual manufacturer sponsorship for their for their event, and I think, I think it's the only ride in North America that's that's yep. a factory the, yep, factory sponsored ride. So, shout out to them for for being able to pull that yeah. one off. Yeah, I think absolutely. Eleven years in now. It's uh. That's amazing to keep something going for eleven years and yeah, check steady out, build. Yeah, check out their page too on on Facebook. I don't know if we mentioned their yeah. Facebook page too. Yeah, um, I, I put it, I put it on their uh, did you okay slash Watercraft Network and then yeah, uh, yeah having having see you do sponsor that, it's great to to see <laughs> actually seeing uh, who's listening right now um, a, a guy that's largely responsible I'm sure for for doing this. Uh, Tim McCurcher, how you doing, bud? Definitely have to have you on here at some point. But having them get uh, factory sponsorship for that event is uh, what? just just shows how how well um, the industry is, is thriving now and, and and blowing up. Yeah. So it was a spark they're giving away. Is yep. that a two up? Uh, I believe two up. Yep. Yeah. That's so good stuff. Fun fun ski. Really fun ski. So yeah, Jet Fest. I yeah, I just pulled it up. Twenty eighteen. You can find it. Oh man, that's. Just search Jet Fest 2018. That would be the best way on uh, on Facebook there. So we just had uh, someone ask when we're getting around to, to doing the Turbo Spark build. And the answer to that is a little bit complicated. Mostly because um, VTech put out... Uh, <clears throat> they basically have delayed the, the kits a little bit because they're putting out too much boost. And uh, but they have they have remedied that and they are on their way. Um, so we have we have some kits that are coming in at the end of May. Our issue is scheduling at this point. Um, we're we're still working on our GP eighteen hundred build. Uh, we do plan on getting to that turbo spark at some point. Uh, a day I, I we we can't give a a solid date. Um, it might not be until after the season though, unfortunately. But we 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 want to do one soon. It's just uh, we have so many other things going on right now. But uh, they are shipping. Uh, we have a few kits on the way right now. They're going to be here um, May 31st. I just checked the... Yeah, so for all the guys that ordered, they're, they are coming in. They um, did the necessary modifications. I don't have specific details, but they, they yeah. were able to lower the, the boost. Or yeah. They're not... Uh, as like long you as said, you're running them at what they have them set, 
uh, they'll be reliable. And we do have right now on pwcextreme.com, um, one of our members posted up his uh, full build on the Turbo Spark. Yeah. So he's got the all. He's got all the, the new pictures. turbo kit. Yep, it's a really new... yeah. It's a really nice build. I was I was looking at yeah. some of the specs and and things that he's done and yeah. That's going to be a really nice yeah. Nice ski. Uh, so definitely check that out on pwcextreme.com if you're itching for some turbo spark content. It's it's there and uh, waiting for you. Yeah, and as as far as the the install process goes, uh, the gentleman's name is Greg as well, um, and he's got a lot of information in that build that build thread that he made about um, installing and what to do and what not to do. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get around to doing a, a, a turbo build. It's just uh, when kind of got pushed back on us because of so many other things going on. Right. So um, I think I covered most of the, the stuff that's in the PwC industry for for here. Uh, yeah. A couple of other, other off-topic exciting things is, uh, is Deadpool 2 came out. The first one it did uh, i, I haven't know, seen it yet have you seen it saw it saw it was it good opening night yeah it's yeah it's really really good if you're a fan of the deadpool if you caught the first uh movie you'll definitely like the second if you read the comics you'll you know probably love the the second it's yeah there's not very many sequels that you can <clears throat> say are honestly better than the original and this one kills it it kills it it's funnier it's got um I mean, the action scenes hold up just as well as, as in the first one. Uh, the storyline gets a little bit cleaner um, in terms of truer to the, to the, to the comics. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun, and it's, it's uh, you know, raunch, raunchy humor, R-rated uh, superhero or anti-hero movie. That just what you'd expect can... from after seeing that first Deadpool movie. That was a great um... – I think it was the first R-rated superhero movie. What is that? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, sounds, it sounds was about the, right. It was the first, and it crushed it at the box office. I mean, I, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but it 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 did and like then, the one of the biggest openings that wasn't. Uh, um, um, I think the like the Wolverine movie that just came out. I guess Logan, right? Is that the name of it? Logan. I think that was rated R too. Which yeah. Which Deadpool kind of probably right. cleared the way for that to be <clears throat> rated R. So yeah, I mean that's kind of a big deal in the in the industry having a r-rated comic book movie but uh seemed to work so yeah i mean definitely go check that out if you uh, uh if you haven't seen it yet and you know let us let us know what you think it, you know, it's always fun to discuss off-topic stuff uh on the, on the forums or, or online um so that was the, the the last happy note now now we have to get into what the hell happened to the bolts going against the the, the capital like i said for... if you don't you don't score in two full games you're not going to win period yeah that was you know i see a lot of people online blaming vasilevsky which is, who's our goalie That's ridiculous but it's it's laughable How, mm -hmm. what's he supposed to do score goals too i mean <laughs> that would have helped last game right <laughs> last night he he uh i mean realistically they had no business no business winning any well they played well in what game three yeah. Stole four. But if you look at the stats, um, they keep they keep statistical uh, analysis of like high danger shots and all that kind of stuff. And in in that we were doing really well. We had a lot more high danger shots where you're you know more likely to score a goal from than Washington did. So, I mean that's that's what helped us out a little bit. Yeah, and then puck luck. Uh, yeah. I think there was like four pucks that were just stopped in front of the net that like Gord, when he missed his chance to, to bury that one goal. Well, I mean, let's start, let's, let's rewind. Ovechkin scores 61 seconds in on a bomb from the blue line that, that at that point, at that point I knew that we, the, we the, were done. They didn't give up. They didn't give up though until no, they I, played. I thought they played really hard up until they was did the third goal, but you could just feel that it just wasn't our night. You know, <laughs> well, you felt that every other night playing against them too. So now for the Stanley Cup Finals, we're going to have Las Vegas Golden Knights going up against the Washington Capitals. And uh, uh, my my wife pointed out that the the upside of that is um, I don't have to get a new credit card so that we could fly out there, <laughs> yeah. get a hotel. And I, I, I'm telling you, if they if if it was going to be, the, I would I would have been there and yeah, yeah. To, to watch that one. Uh, yeah, first time you know a team. It's going to be, I, I, you know, I'm probably not going to even watch any of the 
final. Um, My money's on Vegas. Vegas. Just, just bitter. I'm too salty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know. I, I if don't... if Vegas has a chance to clinch, I you know I've been kind of rooting for Vegas all season. So if mm-hmm. they have a chance to clinch, I'll probably watch that game. That'd be about it. I've Literally, watched bits and pieces of their games, and I'm I'm kind of intrigued. Entertain- they're entertaining. I, I, for sure. I am. So yeah. I. I'm glad I didn't watch last night, but uh, well, they call themselves like a team of misfits, and that that's a perfect, that's a perfect uh, was persona their, to take their, on. Their Carlson had like, I think it was like seven goals last season. Yeah, you know, and now and he's I think a, forty goals this season. Yeah, and or now he's a, close to it. A big driving force on their on their offense. So they're definitely yeah. have been uh, misfits that no one. It's funny, no one really complained about um the changes to the rules uh that Bettman put in place for for the for the draft or for the expansion draft until now where they're this yeah. deep in the playoffs and I, th- I heard a stat no team has won the cup in less than 20 games since the 1988 Oilers which pretty freaking stacked team back yeah. back then and uh I think that Oilers team only lost like two games in the playoffs if I remember right they well it was they did it in 20 games so they, they must have lost at Four. least, yeah. That's one per series? One per series. That's crazy. Yeah, and right now, um, they're 15, 15 games in, right? Vegas is? Yeah. Yeah, so they could... They I don't could think be they're one beating... Of, I don't think beating Washington in, in, no, in I'd be five. Su- I, I'd, I'd be surprised. say they, they probably win in six or seven. I do think they're going to win, though. Yeah. Yeah, I really do you, think they're... I thought that there was a good chance if they play the Lightning, they beat us, too, honestly. So... Yeah. Yeah, well, I, yeah. It's, I mean, just about anyone that was coming out of the West there, be it yeah. the, the Jets, the the uh, Preds, or them. You know, After steamrolling Winnipeg like that, I just ha- had no. Well, going seven, going seven, you know, killed them. I mean, going seven games, Winnipeg yeah, drained versus, them. Yeah, versus Nashville. The uh, so at the beginning of the season, the preseason odds. I think right around the time of the draft, someone had. Uh, I don't know. I can't find any reference of someone actually getting it, but there were 500 to one odds for Vegas to win the cup during the uh, during the draft yeah. uh, before the season started. Well, I'm sure people, a lot of people that live in Vegas probably put 10, 15 bucks on it. Oh yeah, yeah, 10, 15 bucks. The payouts are gonna you, be ridiculous. That you put almost a year ago and can forget about. Yeah. Even, uh, even I, I think a standard uh, was 150 to one. Mind you, uh, the Lightning were 12, were, were, were 12 to one. So it's you know we're the yeah. third. I guess the lowest number, yeah. and they were they were dead last. One hundred and fifty to one was a standard one that you could get. That's a nice Dude, freaking. I've, that's yeah. a nice payday. You, I, how many people lost their tickets though? You know, people they bet like five bucks. Like, ah, he's not gonna win. Yeah, five somewhere. bucks. What's what's five bucks? And then it turns into it could have <laughs> been seven hundred fifty dollar like ticket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you know, you throw down a hundred bucks, and then now you're talking, you know, yeah. some some you know 15, significant cash. I mean, yeah, yeah, fifteen grand in your pocket. <laughs> That's, that's sick Pat are, are you guys sponsored by Red Bull no but we would love to be <laughs> yeah <laughs> that Any, would be that would be nice Monster uh, anybody I mean Red how you Bull doing, Pat good seeing you in here man it's been it's been a, as we were saying <laughs> earlier in the in the cast it's been a long week trying to get all these superchargers and everything out so uh, uh, yeah we're, we're hammering the Red Bull right now I don't know if you can see but Greg hold, hold oh, yours up yeah Greg's got yeah. The, he's got the big boy the, the I said, 20 ounce I said give me a big Red Bull this is what he gets me <laughs> yeah. I mean you know they had I'm those, not going to complain though that's a big Red Bull don't, don't they have the monsters that are like 32 ounces and come with a oh. twist on oh man that's I, honestly I don't drink Red Bull that often but the uh, monster's my go to yeah and that's that's been the fuel <laughs> of choice for this oh, week that is uh, <laughs> probably not the best but uh it's yeah. kept me going, so. Get an EKG at the end of the week. See Probably. See if your heart's still okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, unless you guys have uh, have anything else you want to bring up on this on this podcast. Yeah, were you going to try to do a little competition here? Do you want to do yeah, it? Yeah, do we want to? Uh, be good so we that? have. Honestly, I want we, to. We've talked in previous this. podcasts about these um, hot ghost pepper chips. And I don't know how hot these are, but we. They're. They're not that bad. I ate a whole bag. And, uh, <laughs> How'd you feel the next day? That kind of kills the competition. That was different. That was different. I guess you know it's kind of a delayed consequence. That kind of kills. Losing. That kind of kills the competition though. When, <laughs> when you tell everyone listening and watching, oh, they're not that bad. <laughs> take, take it or leave it. It's it's a delay. That just turns it into just two guys eating potato chips. <laughs> well, it's 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 the tomorrow. So when you you got to film a little bit of tomorrow. <laughs> okay, to here's be like, how we're gonna do really we're, gonna, we're gonna do we're gonna do this differently from what we set up. Um, if you get it, so we're going to do a birthday challenge. 
Um, whoever gets closest to, we're going to look at May birthdays, whoever gets closest to the person's, the celebrity's age uh, wins. The loser of each round takes a chip. Okay. So, so the loser of each birthday. Each birthday. Yeah. Okay. As opposed to just the overall. Fair enough. That's yeah. And perfect. no Red Bull. You're not allowed to drink Red Bull. I'm out. Ooh. I'm done. Ooh. I think Greg has some left. Yeah, so, I, got, so, I still so have no, a gallon of it left. No, so. no, no uh, all right, here comes the <laughs> did you get your, Did you get your two sips? No cleansing of the palate. This is... Uh... <clears throat> It'll be rough, but it won't be that bad. Oh, they don't smell. They don't smell horrible here. Here, you wanna? No, it's not. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, they don't look like they're oversaturated in it. I think you could slip that in, into a, yeah, they don't, a bag they don't of Doritos. Really smell that. They, they almost look. They, you know, they do, they but look, they taste a little bit different. A little bit. So they don't smell that potent. Different. I think you could slip this into a a bag of the. Or, yeah, oh, it's a little bright. Slip that right into a Dorito Dorito bag and have someone have a. Unfri- unfriendly surprise so all right uh, so i saw an interesting birthday here you're you're yes. you're taking this over daryl let's do it um yes so i'm trying to find the one i saw earlier you ruined it i can't do this guy so who was at the rock yeah i already yeah. guessed that right on the button yeah nailed it <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to give you practice sessions anymore mm-hmm. um all right you so should. notorious big big would have been how old? Oh, you go month. first this one. Um, I'll go first the next round. Okay, so let me do the math here. I'm gonna say 47. Son of a bitch! I was thinking he was 25 when he died, and that was in like 95. It's three years after that. This is so 97. I'll just say 40, 40, oh, okay. I was gonna say 48. So shoot, I'm, I think you're closer. I'm gonna say 48. Yeah, he was 24 when he died. So he's younger. So he's younger. younger. I don't have a current age. I'd have to do the math here. What year was he born? Uh, 72. 72. That's 12. Yeah. So um, he's, what, 46? Yeah. 46, Nailed depending it. on, yeah, yep, 46. Nailed it. All right, number one. He's the same age as The Rock. He is, yep. Or he would have been the same age. Right, right. All right, I got, Pour I got out another a Red Bull for B.I.G. Um, right. Hold on, How Hold on give me a second. I'm chewing into the mic for effect, but ooh, yeah, that's uh, it's not that's got some that's got some burn to it. It's not the it's not the worst, but you no. can definitely tell there's a cumulative effect it, that's it gonna builds. happen with these. Yeah, yeah, it definitely. This one's <clears throat> yeah, you might be closing out the show too if this gets to my throat here. <laughs> All right, All right next one, uh, Mr. T. Mr. Mr. T. Pity the fool who gets this. You want to go wrong. first? You yep. go first on this one. Mr. T is 62. Um. Uh, <clears throat> That's pretty close. I'm gonna say 59. What'd you say? 62. You gotta eat your chip. 66. All right. He's 66. Wow. That kind of makes sense though. He was in the Rocky movies and he was looking pretty old in that movie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to find some interesting, uh, interesting people. How's here. your mouth? Champ it. Doesn't really have much flavor, though. Yeah, there's not much flavor. It's just, just kind of. You can taste a little. It's meat. actually not. It's not terrible flavor. Like some of them are just taste nasty. <coughs> yeah, you can taste a little heat, but it's just not much for if it flavor. Gets to the back of your throat. It's gonna, it's gonna burn. Wow, there's there's really no one interesting. And, and Come on, no I saw that, uh... I saw on the on a preview one we had. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, like, what, who did I say like earlier? Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris Brown's on Chris there. Chris Brown's on there. Um, Let's do uh how about Adele? Oh, Adele? Adele. You're up first. The singer? The singer. Um she would be 28. 28. I think she's a little bit younger. I'm going to I'm going to do the bitch out younger, 27. Uh hang on. Let's let's get it to open up here. <laughs> On a, on a side note, while I was looking that up, my wife loves the name Adele for a kid, but all I can ever think about is those the goofy... Singer? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like to name a child Adele, but all I can think about is the uh, that goofy Dell commercials back in the day where it's like, dude, you're getting Adele. <laughs> and I would hate, yeah. to, <laughs> hate that to yeah. be like a running joke <laughs> on my daughter. All right, so you said how old? 27. I said 28, so Joe's going to eat a chip. I yeah, bet. Joe's going to eat a chip. Uh, she's old. 30. She's thir- Dude, she's that old. Yeah. 
right, which I mean, one. I guess that's deceiving when you say that old, because I mean, you know, how old is thirty? All right, this one's about the, She's the so right old. size. Well, I I thought that she she came out still younger than you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. So you you wanted to do uh, Chris Breezy, huh? This one's easy. Oh, it's me first. Breezy's forty. No, he's thirty-five. Twenty-nine. Oh, he's twenty-nine. He's twenty-nine. Really? You gotta eat he's, another chip, man. He's forty. You said forty. You don't think he's looking too good, do you? Yeah. He's forty. I, I had no. I, I didn't think he would be. How old was Adele? Thirty. He's younger than Adele? He's one year younger than Adele. Holy yeah. crap. It's because how many times you've seen him in the news already. Well, I'm up yeah. to get. <laughs> I think that guy's got to be 40. That's awesome. I mean, it feels like forever ago he was uh, doing the whole Rihanna thing. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's, uh... I think he, he was probably like 18. When oh, that was going down. here you go. Right, right up the road, local resident, uh, Brooke Hogan. Oh, God. Pat says that we have faces for radio. Thanks, bud. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, you're you're up, Brooke Hogan. Um, let's say I'm gonna go with 28. <clears throat> Can you speak? Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> His eyes start watering. His nose starts I mean, running. Man, taking a sip of Red Bull or, or anything at this point. As soon as the nice. game's over, you can you can take a sip of that. <laughs> I mean, how many do you, how many more do you want to do after this? Uh, just, we'll, we'll we'll go until uh, for a little, until the the names run out here. Um, twenty eight. Uh, one one less. Twenty seven. Thirty. <laughs> 50, 50 50 shot and i blew that surprised it. me that that surprised me she's 30 though i wow. thought she was like more there was more of a gap there between like us and her i, I, I remember her being like in the news locally. well when you're 21 and she's 17 that's illegal <laughs> no, is it uh, is it actually, oh maybe it's not illegal i don't yeah, think I don't it know. is yeah I think, okay I think when you're 20 calls. and she's 16 that's illegal right all right uh let's mix it up a little bit let's go a little bit older um, George Clooney. George Clooney. The silver you're, fox. You're first. Um, I just went first. Yeah. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Eat a chip, brother. Shit. Fifty-seven. Oh. You know what? I thought. I thought. I thought fifty-eight is what I was gonna guess. But you said fifty-five. I was like, I you know he's older than that. You have to fit. You know. Oh, you know it's over. it's funny too because I've been one of those thirty-five thousand people that's been binge watching uh, on Hulu. The what? whole series of uh, yeah, ER. ER, yeah. Why? There's <laughs> nothing else on, man. You know, so you just you, you, why is it? Why is a bunch of people binge watching ER right now? They I, just added or something. It's, as soon as they put it on, they said in like the first thirty days, they had like oh, they just added thousand it. streams. So they just added. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm already done. I'm on the last season now. So. Gotcha. How many seasons were there? Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> Holy crap! That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of, a lot of time invested, Lord. brother. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna feel like you uh, have a part of you missing when you get through with the series after right. that many. Well, it's like every you know, as soon as somebody dies, I almost feel like a girl. I'm like, no. <clears throat> feeling, All right. Jeff? So my saliva is thickening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My mouth is burning. David Beckham. David Beckham. You're you're up first. Forty-five. Oh. I'm going to go on the under, 44. You get to eat you a chip. All right, How Greg. old is he? 43. Oh, I was so close. That just feels wrong that I was that close and I stopped to eat a chip. Horseshoes and hand grenades, my friend. All right, let's see. Who else do we have here? I don't even know if she's still alive. Is she still alive? No, she's not. But this one will be fun because she's she's not alive, and I'm terrible at math. So somebody's gonna math this. Audrey Hepburn. Oh, Audrey Hepburn. Okay. You go Mine first. first. All right. So yeah, I have me, a I have a decent idea. Yeah, give me just give me a second to mathematicate this. Sixty. I'm gonna go with. 
I was going to say 87, so I'll say 86. Yeah, she was born in 1929. 29, so, so that's one year before this. That'll be 88. 89. 88. 88, yeah. But what, 1929? Yeah. 1929. So 89, yeah, 89. You just, I think honestly you just like the I chips. just like them. I like the, I like the pain. This is like I was going to say 87 though, so I was only two years off. these two together to make one chip. So I was just trying to think of. Now you're just getting daring with it. Mm. Please tell me there's no one else interesting left. Oh, absolutely <laughs> there is. <clears throat> All right, three more. Three more. Three more. Okay. Uh, Megan Fox. Hmm. Is that me first? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say 32. <clears throat> Sorry, I got <laughs> got got distracted there. Um, thirty-two. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> no, yeah, younger, younger. So yeah, thirty-one. Greg nailed it on the head. <laughs> uh, Honestly, I think he just many, sits here. I've only had two chips. How many have you had so far? Uh, the, the whole roll bag. Back, roll back the footage because <laughs> I think I think on the nose. I, I think on the nose. I do too. <laughs> two chips for you hitting it on the nose. That's rough. All right. As rough as it'll probably end up being later. <laughs> All right, the last, the last two. Um, let's go. Sorry, buddy. Let's go with. Uh, Winners don't apologize. <clears throat> Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. I'm, I'm first. Yeah, I think you're first. Yeah, you are first. Seventy nine. Seventy eight. Sixty eight. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stevie. Might as well just said 90. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and for... Oh, gosh. All of the marbles. Uh, all the marbles? All of them. Whoever, whoever gets this wrong has to eat the rest <laughs> of the bag. I'm just kidding. Powder and mm. all. Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw, and I'm first. I will say Tim McGraw is 52. I'm going under on that 51. Nailed it. 51? Nailed it, 51. Woo. That's hilarious that Woo. you nailed it, because I was going to say Vindic 51. Vindication. That means you got to get two, two chips. Take two. Precedent set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That oh, was... my God. They, they, they definitely start burning more. They, it, they definitely burn more as you... Uh... It definitely builds, but uh, I don't think these are supposed to be as bad as the single chip. The single chip. The, <clears throat> the so... single... Yeah. This... <clears throat> Are, you, are we gonna do the single chip one for one too? You might be experiencing the single chip right now. Oh my god! Because he, he hasn't You're, drank anything. He, yeah, yeah. I've had, I've now had four chips. He's had like twenty. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for coughing in the mic. Yeah, my, <clears throat> it's it's hard to swallow. Uh, make all right. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up. Joe can barely talk. Uh, thanks for Daryl to for coming in and uh, beat at this pod. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. The music cut out. But uh, oh, there it is. Um, all right, guys. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, we're we're here and we have time for it. And uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Yep. Later.